Hello, my name is Scott McCray and I'm the Managing Director of McCray & Company. What I'd like to talk to you today about in the context of business marketing is marketing automation software. We specialise in marketing automation software and we've come to marketing automation through the last 10 years of working as uh, marketing directors for venture capital backed technology businesses. Looking to scale marketing effectively and efficiently, we've been forced to hunt for the best technology that we can use and that started with email distribution software, lead, then lead generation software, and over the last couple of years, that's taken us to marketing automation platforms. So what I'd like to talk to you today about is, firstly, how business marketing has changed dramatically in recent years, and then secondly, looking at the growth and the adoption rates for marketing automation software. Fourthly, to look at the reasons behind the growth in the marketing automation software and the reasons for implementing, and then lastly, to look at the challenges to successful implementation. So, let's start with why business marketing has changed dramatically. So, down here, we have the sales pipeline, okay? And that will typically be managed by a CRM platform. And up here, we've got the potential target market. Now let's take, for example, that we're selling to, let's say, the world's top 1,000 banks. But really, we know that our core target market is the top 300 banks. Now in each of those banks, we know that there are five people on the buying team. And there are probably about 10 or 15 people around them that you would call influencers. So that really means that our core target market has 20 times 300, 6,000 people globally that we absolutely have to know really, really well, really, really intimately and try and engage them. We have to have them in the database up to 20,000 people. So we run all our traditional marketing activity. So we run events, we run trade press, PR, we run direct marketing, both print and electronic. And then we do our, uh, our inbound marketing, search engine optimization, content marketing, social media. Okay, so we could call this traditional outbound marketing and this is more inbound marketing. And essentially without a marketing automation platform, it's spray and pray. You build a high quality database, you fire high quality content at them and you hope that your target market goes from here to here on their own. However, in between here, we have the marketing funnel, okay? And you can split the marketing funnel into three distinct stages. Aware and interested, engaged and sales ready. Now the challenge today for business marketing is that buyers have gone online. So what that means is that buyers will find you, they will learn about you, they will learn to like you, they will be able to reference you, to look at your credentials, to see if they're, you're the type of company that, they'd like to do business, that you'd like to do business with, to see if you do business with other companies that are like them. They will learn about your products and whether the products and the solutions that you offer map the type of problems that they have and what the cost might be, so therefore they'll be able to determine the value proposition and they'll be able to work out whether they're going to get an ROI from you um, and they'll be able to do that all on their own. So companies and buyers can get, if we draw this line across here as sales ready, they will get there on their own. They will find you, they will start conversations with you and they will stop conversations with you on their own because the buyer is now in charge. So what that means is that customers and prospects interact with sales much later on in the sales cycle. So marketing has to pick up the slack. So now we're in a situation where in business marketing, where marketing is responsible for all of that, okay? Marketing is responsible for finding people, building relationships with them and getting them to sales ready. And sales is responsible for taking people that are sales ready to close. Now that creates a huge challenge for marketing because marketing is not equipped to do that and it's not skilled up to do that, hence the growth of marketing automation software. 
which we'll talk about in the next video.